<laughs> Go on, positivity. I yeah, tell you what. Nil, nil. We like it. <laughs> nil, nil. Oh, my goodness me. You know, we oh, want a go. bit more than that. Um, I tell you what, we'll come back to you in a minute. I know you want to chat to us. We're just going to speak to a journalist now to get a little bit about what we can expect from Chelsea today. So you, young man, say that. I'll come back to you very quickly in the fan zone soon. Uh, if we head back onto the stage here, I think I'm joined now. Do you like the new fan zone, by the way? We've got a fancy new stage and everything. It's a lot nicer, isn't it? Here we go. I'm sorry, you've just been thrown immediately on stage. It's Scott Trotter, isn't he? Whereabouts are you from then? Because you're our kind of guest journalist. Yes, uh, just from down in London. Down in London. So obviously you're here to cover Chelsea today. Uh, so first of all, who should we be looking out for? Who's going to be the danger man for Everton in that Chelsea lineup today? Yeah, uh, I think Raheem Sterling obviously making his debut for Chelsea today. That's the player Chelsea are going to be looking to this season. Um, he's going to have a big responsibility, I think. Um, they've got a lot of wingers who perhaps haven't done it in the last few years. So, yeah, they'll be expecting big things from him. Okay. And, uh, you know, it seems a bit strange, I suppose, does it, for Chelsea fans, Frank Lampard in the opposition bench, such a legend. But I tell you what, the Evertonians don't want to give him up, do you? You want to keep Frank. You're not having him back. <laughs> yeah, and I think we saw what happened in the last game. Um, at Goodison Park as well as obviously Everton put on a really good display um, against Chelsea. And with the Chelsea's record here, I think they'll really need to step up today. Yeah, I think we're just having an issue with your mic, so we're going to use mine from now on as well. Um, yeah, so obviously Thomas Tuchel, has he had a, a successful summer in the transfer market, would you say? Because, you know, we've seen clubs doing business, but I think it has been quite hard so far for people. I know, obviously, he's bought Sterling in, but has he had a successful summer so far? Yeah, I think there's been a lot of pressure on Chelsea this summer, obviously, with the new owners coming in. Um, but they've signed Koulibaly, they've signed Sterling, Cucurella obviously came in yesterday. So they spent a lot of money, and I think... A lot has been said about Chelsea perhaps falling away this season or having a tough time, but they've bought good players, so I think there should be high expectations still, really. What's the, you know, target for Chelsea this season? As you say, they fell away last season when it